I got a call from a friend. He said, come down, meet me here, bring a camera. He didn't tell me what it is, but he's got something to show me, so let's check it out. Harrison, what's up? Darren, how you doing? All right. So I saw the show, liked it a lot. Uh, I got something you might want to take a look at. All right. Let's check it out. Cool. Yo, what's up, dude? What's up, John? How you doing? Pretty good, bro. What's I got up, Darren man? from Hack Point Five. Sweet. Yeah, I was just working on some code for uh, Hack Point Five, actually. So what's up, dude? You gonna you gonna show them uh, what you did? What yeah, you did? definitely. Uh, there's, there's a lot of buzz going around on the internet about installing Mac OS X on a PC, so uh, we're going to show you the easiest and most simple method to do so. Oh, sweet. Look forward to it, bro. Well, let's, let's get go. to it. Here's the what you got. Well, take a look. Holy shit. Dude, that is gorgeous. Sweet. You think you can do it to this gateway? Yeah. Alright, so what do we need to get started? Okay, well, first of all, you need to make sure that you have the Tiger disk image. It's been floating around the internet, so if you don't already have it, go buy a Mac. Uh, second, you need to make sure that your processor supports SSE2 instruction set. Um, now you can do that with a little tool called CPU-Z. And when you run it, it'll tell you exactly what instruction sets your processor does support. Okay. Now you, you have to remember that you won't be able to run Rosetta without SSE3. Okay. But uh, you can run Tiger with SSE2. Um, next, we're going to be using a, a Linux Live CD. In this case, we're using Nopix 3.7. Okay. Um, and we also need a removable hard drive or a network drive to store the disk image. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and pop in this Nobix CD. Simply restart the computer and boot off of it. So we got Nobix loaded. The next step is to make a directory and mount uh, your network drive onto this computer. So I'm going to make a directory called Tiger86. I'm going to do a Samba mount. Go ahead and enter your password because we're connecting to your computer. There we are. All the files are there. Now the last step is to run a command Go ahead and finish it off. All right, so what's it doing right now? Basically now, it's going to load the disk image from your computer onto this machine and erase everything on this machine's hard drive. So basically, you're going to lose everything that's on there? Pretty much, yeah. So as soon as this command finishes, all we have to do is reboot the machine and uh, select uh, in Darwin, and that'll be it. So we took a quick break, and uh, I took the liberty of shutting the computer off. Now all we have to do is turn it back on and see if it worked. All right, let's boot into Darwin. Looking good so far. Yeah. Starting there Mac OS X. All we're doing is waiting for that login screen. Right, now, make sure to enter your top secret super secure password. Oh, this is sweet. And we're in. What do you think? So there you go, Darren. Let's run a few things just to make sure it works. Let's pull up the terminal. And it's looking good so far. There you go, guys. Tiger running on a PC. Dude, thanks so much. That was a great hack. No I really problem, look forward to some more on Hack 5. Uh, one last question before I leave. Sure thing. Was that illegal? Actually, yeah, um, it definitely is. So think of it as a shareware application. Mm -hmm. Try it out, get a feel for OS X, and then go buy a Mac. Yeah, planning on it. All right. Remember, winners don't do wares. <laughs> right. I will see you next time. All right, peace.